So now I'm going to just demonstrate some of these um, features of VBA, kind of how to do it, how to work with the editor, that sort of thing. Uh, keep in mind this is Office 2007. It may look quite a bit different from the one you've been, um, the, from the version of Office that you've been using. So first I want to open up the sheet. If I can find it. Okay, so I get this um, warning that says there's macros in here and asks me if I want to enable them or not. So I enable these and you can see it runs. Okay, so I've got a couple of tabs here. This one to demonstrate the functions. This one to demonstrate the subroutines. Okay, so we'll go to this function tab for first so you can see that I've got a sequence of temperatures here and then in each of these I just call equal C2F of those and you know I can take these and and I could say equals this plus a hundred say copy this down and then copy them both and, you know you can just use that like any other function so it's pretty powerful similarly here are these um, some of the cubes functions okay nothing special but you can see I'm just calling the, those routines I wrote uh, let me go to the VBA uh, in in office 07 to get to the VBA editor I click developer tab and then go to visual basic and I see um, let me close this property window. So you see these project windows. There's my lesson1.xls, which is the file I'm in, and there's two sheets in it. And currently there's two modules. So the first module, I can double click on that. That shows my C2F function, my sum of cubes, more sum of cubes, and sum of even cubes. Now you can put all these in one module. You can put each in their own module. None of that really matters. Okay, um, then there is the uh, write it subroutine. So this is just like I explained in the in the um, other the other lecture. Okay. So now I can go back to Excel. One trick for getting back to Excel is this little button up here shows Excel. If I click that, it opens up. It it takes me back to this spreadsheet. All right. So in terms of this subroutine, you can see I can highlight this cell and run the write it macro, run the write it macro, okay? I can clear the whole thing. Um, to see how to get these buttons, I go to developer. Um, and now I can never remember where it is. Oh, it's this right here, okay? So, now that's for recording. Where is that? Ah, insert, that's what it is, form controls, okay? And in this case, the upper left control is a button, and I click that, and then I trace out my button, and then it asks me, and it's off the screen, it asks me what macro would I like to assign to this button, and I click that, write it, and say okay. And now if I make this the active cell, uh, then I'm in business, all right? If I want to change the name here, uh, I, I always have a hard time selecting it. I find the best thing to do is right-click it, then left-click the text, and then I can change this to run right it or whatever else I want to do. And um, you can right-click and format the control and change the colors and all kinds of lovely things like that, okay? So I can mess with that button as much as I want here. All right. Um, now, one thing you might want to do uh, is instead of having um, this start from the active cell, have it always start from the same place. Let's say we wanted to start it from F2. Then I can go back to the editor, and I can write this. I can refer to a cell in square brackets, so F2 dot activate All right. so now I can go back to Excel 
And even though this is the active cell, I should be able to run that macro and it starts at F2. Alright, so you can do it either way and people have their preferences. I guess I think it's probably safer to start in a fixed cell and then you don't ever wipe out stuff uh, by accidentally activating something above uh, a formula, a, for, a, a cell you want to keep. Um, another way to run macros, if I, let's see, clear this, clear contents, is from here, go developer macros, and it lists the macros available, and I can just say run, and it runs that way. So either way, you can use a button or just say run. Um, one other thing you might want to do is record a macro. So if I want to write a macro and I know how to do it from the user interface from the GUI in Excel, but I don't know how to do it from VBA, a lot of times I'll record the macro and then I can look at the at the uh, function and see how it works. Okay, so um, to do that, uh, from here I use this button under the developer tab. In the other... Um, in the older versions of Excel, it's Tools Macro Record Macro or something like that. So I'll click here to record a macro. And I can call it whatever I want. I'll call it Test Macro, for example. And I can assign a shortcut key to it. So I, maybe I want, um, I don't know, I have to be careful. So maybe I want Control-K to run this macro. So now if I'm in a sheet and type Control-K, it should run. Um, okay, now the question is what I want to do. Um, maybe I want to hi back highlight some cells uh, in r in with a red background. So I can highlight those cells and then um, color them red. And maybe I'll make the font, uh, let's say, yellow. All right. Now I can go to developer and now it's a stop recording button in the same place so I stop recording. And so if I clear those two, uh let's delete them. Okay. I squished my buttons. So now um if I run that macro again, so I go well, what did I say? Control K will do it. So I'll hit Control K, and it's thinking, uh, but then it did it. So see, it changed the font and it highlighted those cells. Um, if I'd rather have it so I can highlight any group of cells, right now it's doing a fixed cell set of cells. If I'd like to just highlight uh, any group of cells, I can go back here. See, now I have a module three. So you see, the first thing it does is select the range. If I just delete that then it'll do this um, change the color and change the font um, of any selection all right so now back to excel now i should be able to go here and just highlight these and type control k and it works it's yellow too um, i can also uh, go to developer macros and you see now i have the test macro i can run that so um, I think over the semester, you'll probably have a few occasions where recording a macro will be beneficial. Um, and so that about wraps up uh, my discussion or my demonstration of using VBA. Um, I think that should be enough to get you going. We'll use VBA exclusively this week and next week, and then we'll use it off and on as the semester goes on. So good luck with that, and let me know if you have any questions.